Hey guys, Steve here at CardenhamKillagrew.com for Cardenham Killigrew and the Modern Man's Guide to Being an Old World Gentleman. In today's webisode, we are going to be discussing double-edged shaving, or old school shaving as we like to call it here. Now, over the past 30, 40 years, people have really gotten into cheap disposable razors, uh, razors with three blades, five blades, ten blades, vibrating handles, rotating heads, spring-loaded blades. You don't need all that stuff. At Cardinam Killigrew, we take shaving from being a chore and something you want to get through as fast as humanly possible to a treat. We want to take you back, enjoy your shave, have a great time shaving, and you know what? Having great shave brushes, great razors, great creams, and great balms can help you relax. It can give you that time to yourself to pamper yourself, treat yourself good, and make you feel like a million bucks. And we're going to show you exactly how to do it. All right, guys, so old school shaving or double edged shaving, as we like to call it here, is kind of taking us back a little bit in time when you didn't have all the pre processed chemicals under pressure in a can, you don't have all the crazy razor blades, you're not really trying to rush through your shave. You're kind of trying to enjoy yourself, take your time, and really have fun with it. There's a few things that you need for this. The first thing, you need a little shave bowl over here. And this is for mixing up your shave cream. We have our brushes, and here is a small selection of my collection. Um, we have badger hair brushes, we have boar hair brushes, and there's a ton of great brushes that you have. And we have a few razor blades. Here you see a Duke razor, and you see a 1965 Gillette Slim Boy. You obviously need razor blades. Here we have a little stack of feathers. And over here we have an alum shave stone, which I love because these are great. If you get those little nicks and cuts, this natural stone you just place on it and it almost instantly cauterizes a nick. And over here obviously we have our Cardenham Killigrew Shave Cream and Aftershave Balm. All of this together allows you to have an amazing shave. It leaves your skin silky smooth and it'll probably be one of the best shaves of your life. Alright, so the first thing we're going to look at are the blades and the actual razors. There's two types of major razors that you're going to have. A butterfly opener, which opens like that and closes after you put the blade in, and a twist off, which you untwist and you place the blade inside and tighten it down. Now, with both of these, you can adjust how aggressive or non-aggressive you want the cut. If it's more aggressive, it's going to be a little sharper and a little faster to cut. If it's a little less aggressive, it's going to be a little smoother, less likely to nick yourself and that sort of thing. So with a lot of the adjusters and the butterflies, you can actually adjust that right on here. With the twists, it will depend on how much you tighten this down. If you tighten it down a lot, it curves the blade in, makes it a little less aggressive. Okay, now as to the blades, there's a lot of different blades out there and it depends really on your skin type and how you shave. There's not really a better, I would say. Um, it's different times you want different blades and you can always try different things to figure out what you want. But you always want to be very, very careful with these blades. They are extremely sharp and you want to always hold them from the ends. And in this case, all right, so we're going to open this up and we're going to take this out from the edges, as you see here. Never touch the front of the blade. We're going to place it into the channel. Tap that down, make sure it's in there. We are going to place the top loader on here. And then we are going to use the handle and tighten this down. And again, still holding it from the edges, we're going to tighten this down to basically the sharpness and level that we want. One of the first things you need to do before you start mixing up your shave cream is really, really rinse and soak this brush in hot or warm water. This will allow the badger hair or boar hair to soak up that water and allow you to mix the shave cream. Now this is pretty full and it's pretty nice. You only need to do it for about a minute or so. Um, you can feel the weight of that fluid in that, in that hair. And we're just going to give it one quick flick and that's going to leave enough water and moisture in there to mix up the shave cream. All right, so I've pulled off a little chunk of shave cream. It's about that big, about the size of a little marble. 
and that's really all you need for a nice shave. Now I like to place that in the bowl, I kind of press it down a little bit, just about like that. Then I'm going to use that brush and I'm going to push and whip. And as you can see, you're starting to get a nice, nice froth in there. And that's how you're going to mix up your shave cream. Alright, so we've discussed a little bit about the blades, the razors, the safety of the blades and the razors, as well as the shave brushes and how to mix up those shave creams. The next thing is, is you need to get yourself ready. I like to take a nice hot shower, a nice bath. You want to make sure that the hair on your face is soaked up with warm water. The softer that that hair is, the easier it is to cut, the less likely you are to get bumps and razor burn. A lot of people will just walk into the bathroom, they'll splash some water on their face, and then they'll just start dry shaving. That is not the way you want to do it. That will give you rough, irritated skin, it'll be a hard shave, it's just not good. We want to take our time. We want to enjoy ourselves. Now, after you take that hot bath and that hot shower, dry your whole body off, but don't really dry your face off, or else you're going to suck the moisture out of that hair. You want to leave that in there. All right, we've just got out of our nice hot shower. Our hair is soaked with that nice warm water. The hair on our face is a little bit more pliable. It's going to cut well. I'm going to put a little of the Cardenham Killigrew pre-shave oil on my skin. It's basically canola oil, coconut oil, some essential oils that will help give a little bit of a soft boundary or barrier on our skin to help that blade glide nice and smooth across our skin. Okay, so. so I'm basically going to just rub a little of this oil in. Just go over the surface of where I'm going to shave, and this is going to add that nice little barrier to my skin. Not a whole ton, just uh, maybe about a quarter teaspoon, something like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is, as you saw before, we're going to whip up this frothy foam. And as you can see, that's pretty nice right there. And we are going to lather up. That's about it. So we've lathered up, we've applied our pre-shave oil, our blade's ready, everything's about ready, so now we're going to start cutting. Alright, I've rinsed my blade off and we're ready to start cutting. Now, you want to feel the way that your, your hair moves on your face, you want to cut with the grain. You don't want to go up against, it'll give you a very rough cut. Now, you generally want to do one, two, three passes on your skin. This isn't a speed competition, this isn't a race, you want to take your time, give yourself a nice cut. You want to relax and enjoy yourself. So we're going to do basically one to two inch swipes and we're going to rinse the blade after each swipe, okay? Now that is a first pass on that. Sometimes if it's uh, not cut real well, you can do a second pass. Again, this is not a race, so you really want to take your time, kind of enjoy yourself. I find it relieves a little bit of stress. Makes me feel pretty good about myself, if you know what I mean. And you can see that is a not a bad shave already. Nice and smooth. Oh wow, that feels great. So, all of that oil, having the hair nice and moisturized on your face, doing small, small cuts, and taking your time, it really gives you a great, great shave. Now you can do one, two, three passes, depending on how fast you want to go. I like to take my time, really relax, and enjoy myself, and that's pretty smooth. All right, so moving down to my neck here. Again, I am going with the way that the hair goes. You can take your time. Again, this is not a race. Mm, now that is a good shave. So after I'm done shaving, I'm just gonna give a quick feel. 
find any rough spots and you can just go over those with a secondary swipe. Um, I'm not feeling anything here, so our final step is going to be put some aftershave balm on our skin. Now this is made by Cardenham Killigrew. It's loaded with things like coconut oil, jojoba oil, shea butter, things like that. So it's going to basically treat your skin. I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright guys, so this is the Cardenham Killigrew Dark Oak Shave Balm. Again, like I said, it is filled with all sorts of great uh, natural ingredients like jojoba butter, coconut oil, shea butter, things like that, sesame, avocado, I mean it's just, it's really good for your skin. Um, you don't need a lot of this, this is super concentrated. So what we're going to do is we're going to put about that much. We're going to wipe that around. Alright, we got that on there. We're just going to wipe it in all over our face. And I like to let that sit in for about 20-30 seconds, and then I pat dry with a nice towel. And that is going to give you a very, very soft, soft skin after you're done with that. It's a perfect shave. You really can't beat it. Alright, so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on double-edged shaving. We've covered everything from the razors, the blades, the brushes, how to prep the follicle and hair on your face, how to make sure you follow the direction of that hair to get a great shave, moisturize that hair, take your time and really enjoy yourself. All of these shave products can be found on cardenhamkilligrew.com and come back and see us again soon.